I hope you have a great day. Today I want to talk about, a lot of people say, Luke, how do we live longer but healthier lives? Today with advancements in medicine and technology, people can live longer. But what is the quality of life? It's called chronic illness. While we are aging, we're on more medication. As we age, we should be on less medication. So when we live longer, our goal should be wanting to live longer and healthier so that we can enjoy all those years that we're alive. So what happens is we need to understand when people use the words fountain of youth, anti-aging, gracefully aging, longevity. What do they mean by that? Is there a magic food that can take care of that? No, but food plays a huge role in it. Can sleep take care of that? No, but sleep plays a huge role. We have genes. Our genes determine whether we will get a disease or not. And even if we get a disease, how quickly we may recover or whether we will recover. Everything is controlled by your genes. It's called gene expression. Cancer is nothing but a gene expression. Alzheimer's, it's a gene expression. You can turn genes on and you can turn genes off. They can upregulate and they can downregulate. Now, your external environment and your internal environment within you, which is also called epigenetics, is responsible for upregulating and downregulating your genes. So yeah, sometimes you may get a disease that exists in your family and you immediately label it hereditary or genetic and you don't do anything about it. There's a lot that you can do because medical science shows us that four to five percent of genetics is really very strong, which means no matter what you do, you get that condition. Okay, that's only four to five percent. What about the balance 95 percent, right? So when we look at graceful aging, when we look at longevity, when some of us may already be very old and elderly, can you make a change right now? Absolutely yes, because we have protective genes within us. The job of these protective genes are to protect us from diseases, help us recover, turn off inflammation when it's on too long in the human body. Let me give you an example, okay? We have certain cells in us. They need to die regularly. It's called cell apoptosis. That's what happens in everyone who has cancer cells but don't get cancer. I have cancer cells, you have cancer cells, everyone has cancer cells. When these cancer cells start to misbehave or grow abnormally, that cell within us, it's called cell apoptosis. It self-destructs, it kills itself. Or we have something called cell cycle arrest, where our own genes are able to arrest a particular cell cycle, which means it won't allow it to grow into a full-fledged cancer. This is happening in us all the time while we're awake, while we're sitting, while we're studying, while we're watching television, while we're sleeping. The intelligence in your body never takes a break, which is why I tell you all, lifestyle changes are supposed to be done every day. You can't take a break. You can't say I'm gonna start on the 1st of January. You can't say I'm gonna start after the wedding series, you know, season. You can't say I'll start next Monday. No, if your intelligence in your body doesn't take a break, what makes you think you can take a break? Of course, we can take a break from routine. If I train my back yesterday, I'm not gonna train it again today, I'll train a different body part. If I walked yesterday, today I may swim, or I may do a class of yoga. It's good to do different things, but the point is consistency. And of course, one day in a week, we can take a complete break. We may take a break from exercise, but we may still eat two good meals. We may take a break and have an entire reward day where we eat what we want, but we'll still sleep well that night. There's always something that we should be doing. Today, I want to talk about this protective gene that helps you to live longer. And today, a lot of people, as they live longer, they also get diseases. You see, diseases come as we age longer. A lot in oncology, in medical and integrative oncology, we all know that as patients hit the age of 70, 80, 90, there are certain cancers will, which will grow in the body and it's an age thing. There's nothing that you can really do about it if it comes. You could have been an extremely fit person, a healthy person, but the longer you live, okay, certain age-related diseases can occur because your self-protective genes are not activated because of lifestyle, because of your past or whatever you did. So we're gonna to learn today, there are many of these genes, but today we're gonna to take out one particular gene which is called the FOXO gene. Now mammals have an FOXO1, an FOXO2, an FOXO3, an FOXO4, we have an FOXO3. This particular gene that I'm talking about today is a self-protective gene. It can prevent us from getting age-related diseases like cardiovascular, heart attacks, strokes, cancers, Alzheimer's, plays a huge role. 
So why not try activating it? We're going to talk about ways, simple ways to activate it that we all know of, but we don't do. And we have to constantly inspire ourselves to activate this gene. Anti-aging. People think the more creams they use, the more Botox they do, the more jobs they do. I'm not against all of that. That's your call. You can do it. But if you do it thinking it's the only way to look young, or it's the only way to prevent you from aging, that's where I want to step in and tell you that you are highly wrong. And you will. You will learn it the hard way. And that's when most people slip into depression. How do I know that? Because they come to us. Luke, I did so much of Botox. Luke, I took so many pills. Luke, I did so much of collagen. Luke, I put so many creams. But yet, you go into victim mode. I'm aging. My skin has pigmentation. Nothing's permanent on the outside. While you do all of those treatments, are you also looking at your genes? Are you eating for your genes? Are you sleeping for your genes? Are you moving for your genes? Are you thinking for your genes? You see, beauty isn't just the way the magazines make it look, TV makes it look, yeah, take this shampoo and your hair's gonna look beautiful, put this anti, this glow cream on your face and you're gonna glow. If it worked, everyone would be glowing. Everyone would have this beautiful hair. No one would be having hair follow problems. All of the beautiful beauty products that we have in the world, everyone, everyone would be looking that way in the ads that you see on TV. But we know that's far from the truth. So while you can consume all of this, never forget your lifestyle. Never forget that if your genes are not performing their functions, you can start aging at 20. You can have skin at the age of 20 that looks like someone's skin who's in their 50s or 60s. A lot of people today in their 20s are actually 40 years old. A lot of people, their biological aids and their chronological aids are not, they don't match because of oxidation, poor diets and all of that stuff. So the FOX3, FOXO3 gene is linked to longevity and the prevention of age-related diseases, okay? Now let's talk about what this gene does. It's involved in tumor suppression, which is why for all of our cancer patients and even people who don't have cancer, if we can activate this gene, it helps you with tumor suppression. Why? What are tumors? Tumors are nothing but growths of abnormal cells that constantly grow. They hijack your blood vessels, they start robbing blood oxygen and nutrition, which is why weight loss is one of the significant side effects of people with cancer. And then all of a sudden, these tumors, these cells have the strength, the oxygen, the nutrients to grow, and they grow into larger tumors. But now because of the FOXO3 gene, one of its jobs is cell cycle arrest. It can suppress further tumor growth. So while you take your chemo, your radiation, your surgery, all your hormone pills, you gotta look at your nutrition, your lifestyle. Are you eating for your genes? Are you activating the right genes that were not activated in the first place, which is why mostly you got the cancer. So it plays a huge role in cancer. Tumor suppressions, maintaining and regulating stem cells. You cannot be alive if you cannot regenerate stem cells. You were born from stem cells. Your eye, your nose, every part of you is built from stem cells. Stem cells are produced in your bones, which is why when you have a bone problem or a bone marrow cancer, they're very, very dangerous cancers because if they stop the production of stem cells, you die. It's as simple as that. And yes, there are foods that help us regulate stem cells. You have a wound. Your wound heals because of stem cells. You have categories of burn victims. You have, a, you have a grade one, you have a grade two, different burns. So when you're a grade three or a burn victim four, where the burn has reached the bone, that's when you're put in an isolated area because you're prone to infection. Why? Because your bones have been damaged, you're producing very less stem cells, which means your immune system crashes and even a small speck of dust can become a septic in infection for you. So you understand the role of stem cells, they're extremely important for us. And everyone thinks stem cells mean, oh, I'll go and get a stem cell treatment done. Well, there is good science and bad science around that. You can eat for your stem cells, and we're gonna learn how to do that today. So stem cells, when you have the FOXO3 uh, gene activated, it helps you to regulate and stimulate and regenerate stem cells, which is needed even in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's in dementia are required. This particular gene protects your heart. It protects the endothelial linings. It prevents inflammation in the heart that is the root cause of all heart attacks and cardiac arrests is not cholesterol. It is inflammation. So this gene protects your heart. It protects your blood vessels. Immunity and inflammation, by now you would have figured it out. If you activate this gene, your immune system is more trained. 
inflammation can come down. You don't have chronic inflammation. Every disease we talk about every day is an inflammatory condition, medically categorized as an inflammatory condition. What does that mean? Your diseases are caused because of inflammation, unable to switch off, unable to switch off. And that's why you put on steroids to shut down the immune system and hope that you can reduce inflammation. But this self-protective gene activates and controls that. And the destruction of potentially dangerous reactive oxygen species. These are your free radicals that you find in your constant deep fried foods with the wrong oils, using the same old refined foods to heat one food and the second food and the third food, all of your junk and processed food that contains five to six different trans fats and hydrogenated fats. All of this pollution produces oxidation in your blood. Free radicals. The more free radicals you have, the more inflammation you have, which is why an anti-inflammatory diet is so important for you or you activate your self-protective genes. Now let's get straight into solution mode. The number one thing that can activate that gene right now is fasting. When you eat too much, your digestive system is always working, more inflammation, your digestive system doesn't get a break to replenish, your pancreas don't get a break to replenish digestive enzymes, you're constantly producing stomach acid to break down your food, equals chronic inflammation. So fasting, whether you're doing 12 hours, 13 hours, 14 hours, 15 hours, fasting is therapeutic for you to activate not just, just this gene, several other genes. The MOTOR gene is activated again by fasting, which plays a huge, huge role in your nervous health. But Fasting, whether it's circadian rhythm or calorie restriction, not starvation. If you're eating 100%, how do I reduce 30%? So maybe I decrease two spoons of servings at every meal. I've created a slight calorie deficient for me. And that can work as well for activating the gene. But maybe I'm an athlete, maybe I'm a bodybuilder, maybe I'm trying to put on muscle and I cannot be in a calorie deficient. So then I observe fasting, one of the most therapeutic ways to activate your self-protective gene. Second, any foods that contain a flavonoid called quercetin. Quercetin is found in green tea, in raw onions, in apples, in cruciferous vegetables like cabbage, cauliflower, kale, broccoli. These foods have the ability to activate your self-protective gene. So you see food also plays a huge role. Like I said, eating an apple doesn't take away your disease, but eating an apple puts quercetin in your body. Okay, and your self-protective genes need that kind of nutrition to work the right way. Heat and sauna. Sauna and heat is very powerful for you. If you don't have access to a, a sauna, sun bath. A sun bath in the morning, not when the sun rays are harsh, usually early morning, 7.30 to 9.30, maximum 10, or the early evening sun. Try to sweat out. If you can't sweat with the sun, sweat with your workout. But sweating and body heat produced because of a sauna or exposure to heat or exercise is also great for activating the FOXO3 gene. We have raw honey. But half the world that is just blinded with weight loss puts honey in a category of, oh, it's a sugar, it'll make me fat. There are millions of people having honey every day and they have better bodies than most of these people trying to avoid honey. My point is the quality of honey, raw honey, unheated honey, unpasteurized honey. The moment honey is heated or pasteurized, all the medicinal benefits are gone. You need to understand that. So when you buy honey, don't just look for organic because you'll find a lot of brands with organic honey, but it's processed. It's not gonna work to activate your FOX3 gene. So it's gotta be written raw or unheated or unpasteurized honey. And that is when honey works as medicine in you. So you gotta start changing your mindset and moving away from all these groups of people who say, oh, honey, sugar, sugar, whatever. You don't understand that everything breaks down into sugar in your body. You gotta understand that. Everything breaks down into sugar in your body. All of your vegetables, all of your fruits, and all of that stuff. So don't be stuck on one point. Look at the bigger picture. And like I said, there are millions of people having honey and they have greater bodies and better health than most of these people who put themselves into a box and hide away from fruits and hide away from honey and hide away from whatever. Of course, you're allergic to it. You can't eat certain fruits because of your insulin levels. That's different, but don't put yourself into a box. All citrus fruits and the berry family contain, cursed, uh, sorry, have the ability to stimulate your FOXO3 gene. So your oranges, your tangerines, your grapefruits, your bell peppers, your colored bell peppers, your lemons, your sweet limes, your sour limes, all citrus fruits and vegetables and all berry families. 
So whether they're raspberries, they're blackberries, they're blueberries, they're strawberries, they're Indian gooseberries like the amla, all of these are powerful for your FOX3 gene. And of course, we spoke about cruciferous vegetables, which we keep talking about all the time. If you're a thyroid patient, yes, you can eat cruciferous vegetables in cooked form and steamed form, not raw, not raw at all. So yes, if you have a thyroid problem, you can eat these vegetables cooked and steamed. So that's your broccoli, your kale, your cabbage, your cauliflower, your radish, your Brussels sprouts. All of these foods are excellent. And then your mushrooms. Mushrooms, fantastic. You don't have to look at all the expensive, fancy mushrooms. Even your normal white button mushrooms are great for you as a food to stimulate your FOXO3. And this is the beauty of the body. You know, we all look at external things, but you gotta eat for your genes because your genes are controlling every single action and direction and instruction in the human body. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep, and remember, you care is all about you.